But first, an all-nighter expected on the Tappan Zee Bridge as crews work to clear pieces of a collapsed crane that caused one heck of a traffic nightmare. Good evening, everyone. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. We have team coverage on the Tappan Zee crane collapse. Let's begin with Brian Connie Bear. He's live in Grandview on Hudson with the latest for us tonight. Brian. Well, six of seven lanes are reopened tonight on the Tappan Zee Bridge, and it's expected to be that way for the morning commute as well. But the entire bridge was shut down for more than five hours today when one of the 28 cranes out there building the new Tappan Zee Bridge suddenly came crashing down, just missing drivers. The 256 foot tall red crane collapsed out of nowhere. Neighbors in Rockland heard the eerie sound. A very loud rumble. It was almost earthquake like. And this was the result crumpled steel hanging off the new bridge, and the crane operator's compartment toppled over. The crane's boom came down just before noon across all seven lanes of the existing Tappan Zee. Two vehicles crashed trying to avoid the debris. Amazingly, only three people on the bridge and one construction worker were slightly injured. This could have been a real tragedy. Governor Andrew Cuomo, who got an up-close look at the damage earlier, has been pushing the $3.9 billion project to replace the outdated and traffic-clogged Tappan Zee that opened back in 1955 with a new twin-span eight-lane version. The president of Tappan Zee Constructors says this was a brand-new crane vibrating in huge steel pilings when it somehow simply failed. The crane holds up a vibratory hammer. The hammer weighs 100 121,000 pounds and it vibrates and vibrates the pile into the mud. That's a routine task that we've performed thousands of times out here. They say the wind played no role in the accident. Engineers examined the 60-year-old bridge and found some damage in the southernmost lane, but six of the seven lanes were reopened this evening. The slight damage on the surface will be repaired. Well, again, that southbound lane will be closed for the morning commute, but six of the seven lanes will be open. It is expected to be a busy morning commute. Now, the investigators are looking at the possibility of equipment failure or crane operator error as the cause of all this. Reporting from Grandview on Hudson, Brian Connie Bear, CBS2 News. Brian, thank you. Let's get to CBS2's Dave Carlin.